Hi, it's John from Android Alex with an unboxing video of the Galaxy S10 Plus. Now this is a proper uh, retail version of the phone, as you can see. It's just come in from DPD, thank you very much. And the parcel itself actually feels quite light, uh, which is surprising. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open it up. I'm going to pretend that I actually uh, use this knife to open parcels normally. And we'll just put a little cut through here to make it easier. Open up. You can see inside there's a brown box. So let's pop that up to one side. And then we'll open up the rest. So if you order from the Samsung website, this is what you can expect to receive. It's a nice brown cardboard box. There's no markings, there's nothing on there, but we do have a very handy little tab here that we can use to open the box up, so let's give that a go. Okay, so I've just uh, moved the camera up slightly so you can see better. So we've got the black interior of the box with a thank you for shopping with us message on here. This is like it's stuck down. I'm going to have to open this up. Let's try not to tear anything. Okay, this is actually glued down. If you remember, probably about seven years ago now, I did an unboxing of the Galaxy S3, which uh, came in a similar fashion. So here we go, this is what you will find. Samsung support, Samsung stars, experts on call. I'm guessing that's if you've got any problems with the phone, you can just give them a, a quick call. Not really interested in that. So what else have we got here? We've got the phone itself and we've got the packing list which you probably won't want to see because it's got my address on it. Right I've moved all the junk out of the way so we can actually just see the box itself. Now we've got, we have got a seal on here. Previously when I ordered uh, from Samsung the phone wasn't sealed for some reason but we won't worry about that. So, what have we got here? We've got the 128GB model. Nothing too exciting. We know about the phone already, so let's just open it up and have a look. Again, I'm going to use my knife here, which I'm going to pretend that I use for opening parcels. And just slide down here. And I'm going to just lift the lid off and see what we've got. Now, from what I've heard, Samsung have actually been uh, ensuring that they try to cut down on waste plastic and paper in their products. So, as you can see here, the phone isn't actually uh, covered in a plastic bag or anything like that. It's just got a simple little tab here to lift it out of the box. We'll place that down very gently here. And then we've got the charger. standard Samsung charger which is obviously a quick charge let's see what we've got we've got 9 volts at 1.67 amps or 5 volts at 2 amps so do your maths and you can work out the wattage for that we've got the USB OTG adapter here so that's USB-C to standard USB and we have the AKG earphones They come in with the tangle free braided cable. Probably not going to use those to be honest, so I shall put those back in there. And we have the Samsung USB cable, which I don't want to break. That's what. Right. 
Okay, so we have the fast charge cable, which doesn't have any markings on particularly. And we have the micro USB to USB-C adapter here, which is handy to include. I'll open these up anyway because I did say about the packaging and as you can see this is all paper, cardboard and can be recycled which is nice and good for the environment. So let's open this up. Headphones with the little changeable earbuds here if your ears are some freakish size, you can use the, the bigger ones, or if you have tiny little dwarf ears, you could use the small ones here. But the standard size ones probably fit most people. Let's take these out. Try my best not to damage any of this. Okay, so the AKG uh, headphones or earphones do actually have a tiny little bit of plastic on which you can remove by just peeling it off here. So not much plastic involved in this at all which is great to see. Good for the environment. Okay before I forget there is actually one more piece to unbox here which is inside the top cover as you can see. So if we just lift this out we have our SIM ejection pin and inside here we have a tiny little booklet, I'm guessing, with the quick start guide. We have the warranty, the regional lock guide. And the how to transfer content to your new Galaxy phone. You use the smart switch app, you plug your phone into your old phone with the included OTG adapter. And that's all that you get inside the box. Right, I've moved all the junk out of the way and here we have the final result. And now we can see we've still got this little bit of plastic on the back here. This is protecting the back cover. Now I've gone for the white edition here. I was going to go for the emerald green, but sadly the emerald green was actually out of stock when I went to order it. So I've gone for the white, which is, you know, it's my second choice. It still looks nice. It has the nice back, which does change color slightly in different lighting conditions. But now I'm just going to peel this off and we're going to boot the phone up. So straight away, we can see the power button is quite high on this phone. It's certainly not within a, a natural reach of a normal person. So I'm gonna have to, if I do use it, probably be using my finger like this to press it, which is fine. It's not the end of the world. Okay, we'll just do a quick run around the phone and see what we have here. We have the volume rocker up and down. We have the remappable Bixby button. On the bottom of the phone, we have the 3.5mm headphone socket, the USB-C charging port, and the microphone and grill for the speaker. On the right hand side, we have the hard to reach power button. And at the top of the phone, we have the environment mic, which will pick up any sounds around you when you're on the phone and we have the SIM card and memory card slot tray. Okay, I've noticed there is actually some kind of film going around the phone here, so I'm just gonna peel that off. And I think there's one going the other way.
Okay. So all the plastic is off and we're ready to boot up for the first time. You can see, before I turn on, you can see there is a screen protector pre-installed, as you all know, uh, with a small cutout there for the, the camera. It does look like there's actually something of a bubble underneath mine, but I'm gonna just turn on and uh, I'll look into that later. So yeah, as I say, the power button isn't uh, within natural reach. This is quite a tall phone, so uh, let's just see what happens when we power on. Okay, so here's the welcome page. We'll click next. I didn't even click it then. I think it's been uh, waiting for me to click it, so uh, it's just automatically gone next. So let's just check. We want to accept these. Probably don't want to accept the optional ones. We don't want to bring anything with us. I'm going to connect to the network. Okay, so let's give the fingerprint scanner a go. This is of course the ultrasonic scanner, which people have been complaining about slightly, but uh, I'm not sure we're gonna find any issues with it. So let's find out. Just put a pin in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, See how hard I'm pressing at the moment when my thumb goes a bit white at the end. Okay. All done. Okay, so here we have the new Samsung One UI. Now, a lot of people have actually been saying how nice and clean this looks, or the icons look nice, and you know, it's nice and clear. But to be honest, when I first saw this, it actually reminded me a bit of my Galaxy S6. If you have a look at the icons here, actually flat. They're very, very similar to what we're seeing on the S10. So I don't think this is particularly a new uh, style that they've gone for. Obviously the icons are slightly different, but the, the, the theme and the idea here has been around for a long time, so I'm not quite sure why everyone's raving about these new icons. Anyway, that's, uh, that was my S6 running Android 7.0. But here we're running Android 9 Pi, and this is meant to have all the nice features. I'm just getting used to having sides on a, on a phone again at the screen. All the nice features which come with Pi.
Okay, so we'll just test out the fingerprint has worked. Seems to be okay. There was a slight delay, probably around half a second I'd say. And I'm going to try with different uh, pressures to see how hard you really do have to press on this. That's light. So it is light, but it, you do have to give it a couple of, maybe a second of holding it on. So you can see my, my thumb isn't going white with you know pressure like this to get it to unlock. But it does take a, a few seconds to actually register it. There is some feedback when you get a misreading, it vibrates slightly in your hand, so you know that you haven't uh, been registered properly. But yes, it uh, doesn't require pressure, just requires a bit of time and to actually remember where the actual sensor is, which helps. Obviously that's just muscle memory, over time you'll just be, you know, you'll instantly go down to where you need to go. So, initial impressions, obviously the only notable issue so far is the power button being in a funny place but you don't need to actually click it to unlock the phone you can actually do it from sleep it's not really going to be a, a major problem and once you've finished using your phone you can just use your other hand or you'll probably just click on your on the, with your finger instead so there we have the uk full unboxing of the galaxy s10 plus i'm now going to open up the led cover that i have for this phone but i'll put that in another video for people who aren't interested but for those who are click on it down in the description below uh, leave any comments or questions you have subscribe to my channel for more and i will see you again in the next video